All right, since I just did the video on ads, uh, on ads, on income, uh, my plan on getting back into society from this really asylum. This is really, this really was an asylum. All right. Um, I, it's basically like this. Valerio, about discouraging people to contribute any kind of support, anything, okay? It does, it's a big issue actually. And Valerio, Valerio was the guy that I didn't like in, and I'm gonna say absolutely anyway. Uh, I don't actually like him in absolutely anyway. This guy's rotten. You're talking about rotten. Okay, did he ever change? No, he did not. He didn't change not even a bit. He did exactly what he suggested he would do under MK Ultra. Uh, did display aggressive behavior. Um, he is sharp-minded, guys. Very sharp-minded individual. You know, was a police officer, and I properly have estimate him right now with saying sharp because I remember what he would be actually exercising or precisely the same methods I have used myself to sharpen my mind. Uh, he was using like American type tape test uh, mind sharpening. He would go and he would use literature and stuff like this to um, you know test himself on a variety of issues uh, within the specified time, meaning that he would press his brain to the max to get it done as fast as possible. He did the stuff like this, and I can tell you that he is in a pretty good state of mind. He's still very sharp-minded. I estimated him uh, because he acted very, very well under exactly specified circumstances, very fast, uh, very good. I would say, but then again, character-wise, really, really bad. That's why I was not keen to have anything to do with him. Uh, his mind, his character, is not a good character. The rules I am with inside of the room. This is a completely different song. This is a totally like. 180 degrees it's a total difference this guy I like him a lot this guy is you know he he taught me about other things he reminded me of other stuff too uh, and so I did change certain perspectives to residents too because of him because of what he reminded me It's quite okay. It's totally different story, but when it comes to Valerio, he's got some really, really dark uh, shadows, uh, you know, clouds from the past. He alone suggested if I would try, if I'm gonna just go and reveal the whole thing about him, that he would not stick around and he would go they would pull him out because his past involved like totally criminal elements stuff like the first one he got here he was like like dismissive toward people Polish people alone like treated them like a shit I mean like totally unequal you know like I'm from Russia I'm a KGB and you better listen you do whatever I say and if you're not gonna do whatever I say tomorrow you're gonna suffer consequences and the consequences were brutal this is what his first element was in this environment then after like two years after observing what went on nothing good happened not to the ladies, not to the men. Talking about Polish people that were unwilling to watch what they were doing to me, that were unwilling to put up with this. 
basically with a terror from the past which Russia believed still had the right to during these negotiations between 98 all the way to mid-2006. Those terror situations against locals were reduced somehow in 2005 and I'm not going to even say why and how, but they were. I know a whole a lot of stuff in the background, what went on. Staff, member told, staff members told me alone that they will go and after this whole thing will end, they will get impersonators that will look like me, solicitors who would go to the homes of an environment where these things took place, uh, basically in, in which people were involved, uh, people saw it and definitely they recorded it and so on. And these impersonators would just go and collect stuff from these people. Then they have a special crew over there inside of the Grotniki I already have mentioned that and it involves also librarian people, organizers, people who did, who organized, you know, uh, who are involved in like a social life and so on, to collect whatever anybody would have, you know, get involved like in a social level, discussions and stuff, friends, you know, tra la 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 la, but before you know, your home get ransacked uh, without your knowledge, with your uh, work, uh, and all kinds of stuff happens. Uh, the worst stuff that happened, and that again involved Mr. Valeria, that's why I didn't like the guy, I don't like him at all, he's a filthy guy. Is his mind is filthier than filthy. It was like because I would, you know, insist with on this psychologist throughout MK Ultra somehow. I don't know. I like it her because it was a young girl. It was crazy about me and uh, good looking and uh, you know, it, it just some way somehow I always find my way back to her. Even that they introduce other females and they mass you up with those drugs and you express interest for other females but still somehow you always find a way back but this guy was like trying to discourage and discourage and discourage, do everything possible to discourage, to push away uh, from her. This were the beginnings. Uh, but then he came to conclusion that if he cannot somehow succeed with that that he would just go and integrate her himself into her surroundings and he started he created a bond with her and started to appear in her surroundings uh, basically anticipating that one way or the other you know that Russia is gonna gain control uh, if not like this is gonna be through her and so on this guy is super criminal now in final stages, that was the worst part about it, in the final stages he suggested everything that went on, he observed, he was like observing everything about other staff members when they were with me, observe everything what went on, I reported to Moscow, straight to Moscow, get advice on everything absolutely, straight from Moscow what to do not even Minsk but straight from Moscow like I said this guy I believe was intimate even with what's Maria Zaharova speaker of Putin this is very deep involved in Russian politics guy uh, thus did really filthy job like this for the Kremlin okay final stage what he did was he got but two victims two people two polish that would not agree with this and they were like standing up against this whole thing no matter what and he would get he would have people who would inform other people about who these people are basically 
socialized with this people, with these two victims, that other people would know from the surroundings of Luoc and Zgir city. And then what he would do is he would put a dead mark on them. And in other words, he would tell the people in surroundings in Zgir, Luoc, that these two victims are actually going to be killed. They're going to die and they're going to die in very bad way. This is at least what I was told by him personally and is a filthy guy like this that tells you it's because of you. You have done this. It's not because he does his job, he found the people who had to die and organizes the whole thing but it blames you, the victim, for what is going to happen next. And so, to discourage the people from coming forward, I understand they have even done something as filthy as this. Okay? So, that much about Mr. Valerio. Uh, do they, have they taken any steps? Have SIA under Donald Trump, under George Bush, under Obama, have they done their precautions? To cover up their dealings, criminal dealings, in this case against me, uh, throughout the West. I think they did. Uh, not even the parts for the car that was somehow I have escaped assassination in 90, in 2007, were never delivered to me from uh, from Germany. And there were other instances when I did order the stuff and, and the money was simply gone. So, thinking about how somebody's gonna contribute, uh, pretty much ended, you know, even that I insisted on these contributions. Sometimes I was upset and I taken on people. Uh, it, it did upset me that it's people that don't want to contribute, help me out, but now I realize that uh, it's a little bit bigger whole thing. It's a little bit bigger deal. Uh, you are talking about the PayPal. You're talking about the banks. You are talking about... Look, the bank declined me. Uh, I don't know if it was a bank. It could be also the city transit. But they denied me the payment to a public tram the other day. That should never happen. I had a sufficient amount of money balance in the account and it did happen so I don't know I really don't know what exactly was going on with these contributions I have seen other bloggers other people who did receive money I can say I have never ever received dime a single dime all right so that much about this you don't have to look for a Russians uh, Russian agents that kill uh, on behalf of Moscow. All you have to do is you have to look inside of the White House. That's all it is. There's one right there. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.